On business news tonight, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says the non-interest banking system has the potentials to bridge infrastructure gap in Africa, which is estimated to cost $134 billion from 2011 to 2040. Dr. Bashir Ali Umar, an Islamic financial expert and member of Financial Regulation Advisory Council of Experts, CBN, said such costs are certainly beyond the financing of government or donors and the need to, to devise innovative financial approaches. Umar disclosed this while delivering a paper on the Islamic financial system, a panacea for national economic development at a business meeting of the Forum for Islamic Education and Welfare in Lagos. He said that the non-interest system will deepen financial inclusion. Umar further said that the system gave enormous hope to the operators of small and medium enterprises in Africa as it provided various financial instruments for the financing of SMEs, which were the backbone of development in terms of employment generation, intergenerational sustainability, as well as overall economic growth. Uh, the asset-based financing that adds value and create a multiplier effect on the economy into the intervention scheme of the federal government whereby the conventional scheme is only advancing money. Under the uh, non-interest scheme, there has to be asset finance, and you find that it, uh, uh, it reflects on creating additional value in the society. So that is why even the question of the high interest rates that uh, the SMEs are suffering from will not apply when you use Islamic financial models to finance SMEs. Other speakers of the session agreed that the Islamic financial system was a socially responsible and ethical system that believed in ethical principles. If we talk about financial inclusion, many Nigerians today will still not be interested in pursuing conventional banking system. They want to go for a non interest system. And until a lot of advertisements is given and promotion for people to be aware of the, be aware of the benefits of the Islamic financial system, we may not be able to What they are calling for, you are the life of the importation. We import a lot of rice to this country. We are now producing sufficient to be able to feed Nigeria. That is the starting point. If you can do that on rice, you can do that on uh, cassava, you can do that on whatever. That is it. Because once we are able to, to feed, that, number one is to feed ourselves, first of all. Because everybody is saying that things are very expensive, but when we have them in abundance, automatically it will affect the price. Let's still talk in business tonight. The Standards Organization of Nigeria has harped on the need for local manufacturers to adopt backward integration as a means of reducing demand for foreign exchange for importation of raw materials. The Director General of the agency, Osita Boloma, made the call on Monday while presenting manufacturers' assessment and conformity program certificates in Lagos. Aboloma maintained that